Hello, <coughs> this is Jeff Malone, the X is Silent, here to uh, discuss the um, Season 39 premiere Saturday Night Live from uh, September 28th, 2013. Uh, Tina Fey hosted, and Arcade Fire was the musical guest. A uh, few things that uh, need to be discussed. Uh, New cast members. Six new featured players this season. That is the most new cast members in one season since... Uh... In 18 years. Uh... 9596 saw nine new cast members. Um... One of those was Chris Kattan, who joined late in that season, so... Um... Maybe this season we'll see even more, but anyway, yeah, so that's the most since then, and that was a bit of a rebuilding year after the um, disastrous 94-95 season. Uh, this year, I, some people have been calling it a rebuilding year, but not that much. Yeah, you, there were three cast members who left, and one uh, who moved to being just a writer, and those, those three who left were some big ones, but there's still some veterans around. Seth Meyers, he is on his way out in the middle of the season, but he's in his 13th season right now. Keenan is in his 11th season. Apparently he's the, the bedrock of the show, seeing as he was playing a game show host and a, the host of the Cinema Classics show. Um... You know, those were roles that you would typically see played by Bill Hader or Jason Sudeikis. Um, yeah, so, you know, those are the big veterans. Besides that, you've got... After those two, you got Bobby Moynihan as the, the biggest veteran. He's in his sixth season. So you've got... Uh, I mean, you, you got a solid foundation. It's not really that much of a, a rebuilding year. But whenever you bring in this many new cast members, it's, it's going to be... It changes are happening to the structure of the show. So, uh, how do they look so far? What are our first impressions? Um, one uh, impression that has been had by a lot of people is that you can't tell any of these white people apart. And... Uh, that's definitely true of uh, Beck Bennett and John Milheiser. They look pretty similar. Uh, at least Beck Bennett has the um, cachet of having been in the AT&T. It's not complicated commercials with the, the school kids. Um, but anyway, neither of them did uh, too much this episode. Uh, and then there's Mike O'Brien, who doesn't look too different from them. He looks somewhat recognizable if you're an SNL fan, as he's been a writer for several years and has appeared in bit parts in um, several sketches. Uh, he had uh, one uh, showcase sketch, the the used cars for sale, the you know the the mod used Model Ts commercial. So he made a bit of an impression there. And then there's uh, Brooks Whelan, the tall guy who who does have a bit of a different looking face than the rest of the other white guys um, and you know we see he got a, a bit of a moment in that e-meth commercial so um, yeah, but those four you know nothing huge we'll see how it goes not sure what to expect of them uh, Kyle Mooney who actually does look different than the rest of them well, you know he's got glasses and long curly hair he had uh, a showcase bit his uh, stand up character which he's been uh, Bruce Chandling which he's uh, uh, made videos of uh, on uh, YouTube um, so that was that went decently um, could have gone better, but for your first show, first episode of SNL, that was a, a pretty good showing. Um, but the most impressive uh, rookie for the first episode, and uh, impressive in a way that makes it really promising 
for uh, the rest of the season. And the rest of uh, her time on SNL was the one new female cast member, Noelle Wells, who uh, showcased her Lena Dunham impression in a uh, girls parody. And uh, it's, uh, she's uh, now coming in known for having a repertoire of impressions. So that's, you know, it seems like she's, uh, you know, she's got all that in her back pocket and it looks like she knows how to leverage that to make it work now that she's on SNL. So uh, I, I go, uh, you know, one episode isn't enough to say for sure, but it, it, it does tell you some uh, significant information and right now it if I had to guess, I would say Noel Wells will have the best rookie season this year. And the other big news, um, Cecily Strong taking over as Weekend Update Anchor. Right now she's a co-anchor with Seth. Looks like she'll be doing it solo when he leaves in the middle of the season. Um, I wasn't too sure about the, her getting this job because for two reasons one she's really good in uh, re the sketches in the rest of the show and I'm worried that update will take away her time from those other sketches um, maybe she can follow the model of Amy Poehler who managed to have a, a good mix of both hopefully she can but, uh, I, you know, I guess we'll never see her, her update, we can update guest characters, and, you know, no girl you wish you hadn't started a conversation with at a party anymore. That's a, an unfortunate loss. But uh, she did appear, at least in this episode, in a, a number of sketches. You know, she was in the, had the ex-porn stars back, and, uh, and she, um, she played Marnie in the girls parody. So... Uh, for now, at least, looks like we won't be losing her too much from the rest of the show. And the other thing, I was just—I'm not sure that she has that she's the right fit for, you know, a, a fake news person. And this uh, debut didn't really change that concern. I mean, she wasn't awful, and maybe she'll uh, figure it out as she goes along. Uh, you know, I'll definitely give her some time, because I thought her uh, debut season was excellent, and I'd definitely like to see her succeed. Um, but, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'd have to go back and check, but I think, um, I guess is that Norm MacDonald uh, was pretty great his first time on uh, Update, and, you know, even Kevin Nealon or Dennis Miller, you know, whoever, they, they seem comfortable. They looked like they had their persona down, um, for the most part, their, for their debut appearances behind the desk. Um, and if this is the persona Cecily's going with, there's not much there. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, so anyway... Uh, next week we've got Miss Smiley pulling double duty, so we'll uh, talk about that next week. Um, for my full sketch-by-sketch -sketch breakdown of this episode, check out my blog, jmoney.wordpress.com, and uh, follow me on Twitter, at jmoneymalone, and... 